You probably heard of VLOOKUPs already, but have you tried making one? In this video I'm going to show you what they are, how they can save you a lot of time, and how easy they are to set up. Rather than just reel off a really boring explanation, I'm going to show you with a manual example. Click here to download the example workbook so you can follow along as well if you want. In this example you can see there's a table on the left with our sales results for today, and on the right there's the prices of each product. But we want to bring it into the table on the left, so we're going to have to manually do that. So what we're going to do is find the value which links both, so in this case it's product, and on the first row, row 2, we're going to look at try and find apples, which is on the first column. We're going to go over to the right hand table, oh, there's apples at the top. So we're going to go back into cell B and bring back the value which corresponds on the right hand table, which is 50 cents. And we'll just repeat the process manually for the other four rows. Now we have that information, we'll just quickly finish off the equation, units sold times price, drag it down, and we've now figured out how much money we've made that day. But what happens if you had 1000 rows to do this on? Two things would happen. One, it would probably take you a good couple of hours to do, and also doing long, boring, repetitive tasks like this, we're probably going to make a mistake or two. So this is where VLOOKUPs come in. We're going to do the same thing we did manually, but with an equation instead. So we'll go into the cell, we'll type the start of the equation out VLOOKUP, and now I'm going to go through each of the components of this equation. The names themselves don't really make much sense, but I'll describe them. First off is lookup value. That's basically the value of the cell you have on your current table, which you want to go find in the other table. And in this case, it would be cell A2, the product, which is apples. The next part is table array, and that's effectively what table do you want the equation to look at. And in this case, it's the one on the right, so we're just going to drag and select the range. You have to make sure on the table you're looking at, the value you want to match is in the left hand most column. And in this case it is, so the product is matching the product, which is great. Also, we don't want the cell references moving around in this table, so we're going to put those dollar sign things in, just to make sure that the table doesn't move when we drag our equation down. Next up is column index number, and that's effectively saying what column do you want to bring back in the reference table back into your equation. In this case we want to bring price back, so we're going to bring back column number 2, as the column numbering starts at 1 from the left hand side. Last but by no means least is range lookup. I won't go into the details, but effectively just type the word false to get an exact match, and then just close the whole equation off with a close bracket. And there we go, the VLOOKUP has worked, it's done what we did manually before, but now we can just quickly double click and drag the whole equation down, and you've done a thousand rows in less than a second. Just finish off the equation, drag it down, and we can see how much money we've made in less than 30 seconds. This is fully scalable, it'll work at 6 rows, a thousand, or even a million, in just the same amount of time. And there you go, VLOOKUPs in a nutshell. I hope this video has shown you how easy they are to make, but more importantly, why they're so important to learn. They'll make your life a million times easier. Speaking of which, if you want to get access to more quick and easy tutorials like this, just click on that subscribe button. Like learning how to do that dollar sign thing we saw earlier in the video. Or you can learn how to quickly navigate around your data in Excel in seconds rather than minutes. Lastly, these tutorials are here to help you, so click on this link and go to a form to let me know what burning Excel issues you want me to tackle next.